Imagine this. It's 3 a.m. above the clouds two jets, one American and one Russian. Both are locked in a silent race for air superiority. The F-35, with its tech and supercomputing power, quietly stalks its prey. But just behind it, the Su-57 is a beast of speed. This isn't just a battle of machines, it's a billion dollar dogfight where money, power, and politics are at stake. So who's winning? And how will this impact the global business of war? Let's break it down. Meet the Jets, F-35 versus Su-57. First up, the F-35 Lightning II. Picture it, secretive, elegant, and nearly invisible to enemy radars. The US has pumped out over 785 of these since its debut, and 17 countries are lining up for their own. But it's not just a jet, it's a flying AI supercomputer that can track 23 targets simultaneously. Su-57 fell in Russia's answer to the F-35, with hypersonic missiles and the ability to dodge enemy fire with insane speed and agility, this thing is no slouch. Faster, stronger, and deadlier than the F-35 in some ways. So both are amazing in their own right, but what makes them business powerhouses? The business of war, the numbers behind the jets. F-35 is a global cash cow for the US military industrial complex. The total program cost? A staggering $1.7 trillion. 785 jets flying across the globe, keeping hundreds of thousands of jobs in the US. $80 million per jet, but the US makes billions selling them to NATO, Japan, South Korea, and even Israel. F-35's global dominance is cemented. But the Su-57? It's still a work in progress. Russia has made just 25 jets, and with economic sanctions, it's tough for them to compete with the sheer scale of the F-35 program. Who's buying these jets? F-35 buyers. NATO allies like the UK and Germany are in. Japan, South Korea, and even Singapore are all in the F-35 club. Israel, who gets an advanced version, is armed to the teeth with F-35s. And then there's India. They've been in talks with both the US and Russia F-35 or Su-57. But what will they choose? So the stakes are high and the geopolitical moves are more than just about jets. They're about global influence. Will drones replace fighters in the future? But here's the real twist. Drones. Yes, you heard it right. The future might not be fighter jets at all. Drones AI powered, autonomous, and cheaper to produce are quickly becoming the new norm in combat. Elon Musk even said, the era of manned fighter jets is coming to an end. The future is unmanned. Could the rise of combat drones like the USMQ-9 Reaper signal the end for F-35s and Su-57s? The bigger picture. This is where it gets even more fascinating. The business of war is intertwined with geopolitics. The F-35 is a global monopoly, helping the US gain strategic alliances across the world. On the other hand, Russia is fighting to maintain its relevance in an increasingly tech-driven war environment. The stakes are high on these multi-billion dollar deals. But here's the ultimate question, what's next? The future of war, the future of business. The F-35 might rule the skies today, but the business of war is changing fast. The future of fighter jets is uncertain with AI drones and hypersonic weapons in the mix. So who's really in control, the US, Russia, or the machines? Tell us what you think. Do drones replace jets? Should India choose the F-35 or the Su-57? Drop your comments below. And hey, if you want more inside scoops on the business of war, global politics, and the tech that's shaping our world, subscribe, like, and share this video.